Hello everyone, I want to show you how to connect to Google Cloud Compute Engine with your local Windows machine uh, through PowerShell. Uh, you definitely can do this with PuTTY, but the problem is sometimes you want to use a fancy editor uh, in a more interactive way. And the problem is uh, in those fancy editors, they are integrated only with the PowerShell which is a built-in terminal in Windows instead of PuTTY, the third-party one. So uh, sometimes you want this direct connection between PowerShell with uh, Compute Engine. Also, on their uh, Google Cloud documentation, they, there is only instruction on how to set up PuTTY uh, to the virtual machine. Uh, there isn't one about PowerShell connected to Linux machine. There, there is a one about uh, PowerShell to a Windows ma virtual machine, uh, but there isn't one for Linux. So anyway, there are three steps for the building this connection, which is very similar to how you set up the connection uh, between WinCP and uh, uh, Cloud Compute Engine. The first step is to create the key. The second step is to modify the public key and copy it to your Compute Engine, uh, some metadata. And the last step is to connect to it. So the first step is you open the PowerShell, which you can search and open here. Uh, with this command line, sshkgene-trsa, you can get the key pair, which I'm not going to run here because sometimes this command line will get stuck. Uh, if that happens to you, just run it several times until it works. If it's working, then it will output the directory of your key pairs, which is uh, under your user account, the .ssh. The, this is a private key, this is a public key. And you open the public key in your editor. Uh, it, has, it, it is a only single line. It has a format of ssh dash isa and the k content and at the very end is your user account and this is the part we, we need to modify to your gcp account name so you copy this whole line and then you go back to your virtual machine you open it and click the pencil button to edit it at the very bottom there is want to add your SSH key. You copy it here and remember to change the last part to your GCP account user account name. And where to find that? You click your account. It's literally usually just your Gmail. Uh, maybe you are using G Suite, it, then it's some other account name. You copy it here and because I already added it here, it's repeated, so it doesn't allow me to add the same one. But this is the final result you will get. This uh, web, cancel, web, cancel, cancel, web console will recognize this uh, whole part, uh, only, sorry, only the part before the at sign as your username. This is a tricky part because if you later on when you SSH, you, if you use this whole user account, it won't work. So I'll skip this part, but this is the only part you need to add, uh, modify. So after you set this up, uh, of course, you would click Save. Uh, then you can open your PowerShell and uh, connect, use the uh, SSH command line. But I will show you in the uh, Visual Studio just because it's prettier. Uh, so you have ssh-i, the directory to your private key. Uh, and uh, Windows user always have this problem of the space between your user account and you need to add the double quotes here. Um, and uh, then your username and the last part is your external IP, which you can find here. This is your external IP, you just copy it here. Now you can connect to your virtual machine. 
Okay, if you still get stuck on setting up this connection, please leave a comment below. I will get back to you. Uh, thank you for watching.